Okay, so a more useful place for us to download the INSAR data is we type Alaska INSAR, INSAR. Oh, yes, I'm a teacher. Um, and the first option that comes up is Alaska Satellite Facilities. We click on that, and then we click on Find Data. And then I don't know what Vertex is, but I click on it. And then it brings up this dashboard where you can download data. It usually comes up quite a bit quicker than this. Check I've got internet, yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, there we are. Okay. And so the easiest thing to do, I don't click on anything here. I go straight away to filter. And here, under search for location, I've typed in Yahoo's Fontaine. Yahoo's Fontaine. And it actually came up. Oh, Amazing. There we are. You can see Yahoo's Fontaine Free State. It's probably in the background here. And so start date and end date. You can do a big distance between it, but it gets a bit overwhelming seeing all the data. So let's just look at um, July to September, which is the collapse was the middle of September. Okay, so I'm going to click on the 1st of July, and I'm going to go to the end date here, and so we click 2020, and it was in September, and it was the 12th, 13th, I never remember. Um, although, I mean, you actually want to see what it looks like afterwards. Yeah. But the other problem about downloading too much data is you've got to have space for all this data. So you don't actually want to go too big. But let's put down those data and we'll come and have a look. Okay, file type, you need to go here to L L1 single look complex. I must admit I don't know the difference between all of these. I just know you click on L1 single look complex. Um, and then B modes, you click on IW, which was... Kamakhela will tell you something wide, okay? And then I leave, so you actually want polarization, you want VV, but it mm -hmm. seems we can also use VV plus VH. So okay. I don't click on anything, okay. and then we just search for the data, and then we can go and look. Um, okay, and that's it. So literally, we just typed in your Fontaine, start date, end date, um, single look complex, IW, and then we click search. And you can see down here, it's already telling you that there are... 16 files, so we click search. And you can see Yahoo's Fontaine in the background. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are all the files on the site here. And they give you the dates. Although you can't really, it would be nice if you could expand this here, but I can't figure out how. So the only way I can see dates is if you click on it and then here it tells oh, you the date. So there's the 9th and the 30th. Yeah. If you click on this red box, it zooms out and shows you the area that the whole set of data is covering. So I mean, it's a huge area. What we land up doing in SNAP is just zooming into this area down okay. here. The fact that there's this blue box, I mean, I think means that some of this data down here is also going to be on this side. In all honesty, in my mind, is that as long as we're zooming into these area, I don't think it matters yeah. whether you use the red box or the blue box. But for the moment, I think let's just use the red box just in case it introduces some sort of error that they're yeah. not exactly over each other. Okay, so this was the 30th of September, which is maybe a bit too far away. So the last data we looked at here was the, wait for it, 20th of July to the 1st of August. So maybe let's see, I have downloaded the 1st of August to the 13th. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe let's see the 13th of August, because okay. moving towards the collapse. Um Okay, so I'm clicking somewhere down here. We could have probably made our lives easier by just changing it further up. So that's the 6th. So interestingly enough, you can see here when I click on the 6th and on this red, it's actually this, the, like the left-hand side yeah. box. Whereas here is the 13th is the right-hand side oh, box. Okay. So I've kind of been using this right-hand side box because I think this one might be the 1st and it was the same. So I used the 1st and the 13th because they were overlapping boxes here. Yeah, I've ignored the sixth because it's this left-hand red box. Yeah. I don't know how true that is. Also, because 1st and 13th is a 12-day difference, mm -hmm. so to me, that's the same satellite. Maybe Probably the sixth is yeah. a different satellite. Yeah, I don't like know. That. I'm not really sure. Um, some things that we could figure out. Okay, so, so the 18th here is this left-hand satellite. So technically, maybe you could take the sixth, which is also here and the 18th, because that's 12 days apart. Yeah, yeah. So maybe there are two satellites that are going around. Okay. But let's, for the moment, since we're using the right-hand box, stick with that. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're back to the right-hand box. This is the 25th of August. 
I'm guessing this, we're going to have to skip one, and then the 6th of September. So those two will be yeah. the closest, I suppose. Let's just look up here. Is there anything more? The 9th, the 11th. Yeah. So maybe we could come back. That's just before the collapse. Anyway, well, let's stick with this one now. So you go, okay, then you go back here. You go on the right-hand side, and there was a cloud with a download button. You'll see it here. Then you click on the data you want, and you click there, and it will start downloading. Okay. It should ask you to log in then to this uh, yeah, Alaskan thing. Okay. You just have to register. So I think mine is saved. Yeah, it's for free. Mine is saved. And you can see like three gigs and three mm. gigs. So it takes quite a while. So sure. let's leave that <laughs> downloading for the moment. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's how you download the data yeah. and that's how you check where it's coming from. Uh, Did I stop the recording?